This may sound cheesy, but at its most basic and fundamental level, I think the greatest thing I, the greatest thing I do to strengthen and improve the teaching profession is to continue to work my hardest to be a great teacher. Um, while there are many other things I do to improve the teaching profession, uh, they are all without a doubt secondary to this. Uh, being a good teacher builds a better future, plain and simple. Uh, and it goes just beyond strong content knowledge. I think the ability to connect with and motivate our students is not only equally as important as content, but also in many ways, for me at least, much more challenging. Uh, for me, in what I teach, I know the content like the back of my hand. I could teach you know, my students about filmmaking with my eyes closed and my hands tied behind my back. Uh, but I think what makes a good teacher is, or at least makes me a good teacher, is more about how I get the kids to care in the first place, or how I get them to push past the frustrations they may encounter when trying to complete their projects and achieve and create something they can be proud of. Uh, on a more superficial level, I guess you could say, uh, to improve the teaching profession, I have had in the past led professional development at my campus to teach other instructors how to use Skyward to create and administer tests and quizzes online um, that'll open up for only a certain amount of time and close at a certain amount of time. Um, quizzes and tests that can be used year over year and auto-graded and input into the gradebook automatically as well as be instantly available to the students to see what it was they got right and wrong as soon as they're done taking the test. Um, I've also been part of the National Technical Honor Society here at the Guthrie Center to take a larger ownership in my school students, their academics, and the health and beauty of the school overall. Uh, I'm currently working with the Spring Branch Welcome Center to create a series of videos about Spring Branch policies that are being dubbed in several different languages from Swahili to Farsi and Pashto to Vietnamese. Um, so when families come into our district from other countries, they can watch the videos and be instantly familiarized with the U.S. education system and the specific policies of Spring Branch. This way, uh, their child's educational experience can be as smooth as possible for both the student, the parent, and the teacher. Uh, it's a nice little thing to do, and I think it'll go a long way to um, helping these students as well as their parents get acclimated to the education system here in the United States. Uh, I've also applied to be a part of the Vanguard Fellowship to develop models of classrooms that incorporate technology as a tool to increase student engagement and achievement. Uh, as well as coach fellow teachers with open collaborative practices and partnering with them in making uh, that transformation. So, again, there's a lot of things, but uh, you know, none of it is as important as connecting with my students. Uh, lastly, I think to strengthen the teaching profession, uh, I reach out to business and industry to find qualified and relevant guest speakers or opportunities for my students to learn that are outside the normal four walls of the classroom so that they can get a taste of what the real world would be like in this industry after high school and after college. Uh, I think that's really important too, especially when they're trying to decide what it is they should do moving forward in life. Um, when it comes to what should be the basis of accountability in the teaching profession, I think it differs depending on content area. I think for my area of expertise, which is filmmaking, uh, I think the best way to judge a teacher's impact on student learning and achievement would be to evaluate the students' film portfolios at the end of the year, uh, along with their demo reels, as well as some form of anonymous feedback, possibly in the form of a student survey like colleges do. Um, I certainly do that at the end of the year anyways, just because I'm always looking for ways to improve, uh, as well as any optional certification that some students may have earned as a result of the knowledge learned in my classroom. I think this would paint the most well-rounded picture of the student and teacher's work in the classroom. More of like a holistic approach. Um, but that does it for me in this video. Uh, I know it may have seemed a bit long, uh, but thank you so much for listening and it truly is an honor just to have the opportunity to be heard and selected for Teacher of the Year. Uh, thank you so much.